to Ed's boat. Right, in the last episode I said we're going to be moving around a bit and indeed I am. What I've decided to do is go on a bit of a trip. I'm going to take two or three days out and I'm going to go and explore the Ashby Canal. Uh, probably picked the worst time to do it because I've missed the good bank holiday weather and it is absolutely freezing. More importantly, there's a big festival on at Shackerston and I'm told it's very busy down there. So, well, we'll give it a go and I think we'll be able to muscle our way through. It's not going to put me off. Uh, I've bought the pasties, I'm going anyway. Now, the Ashby Canal is an arm leading off the Coventry Canal. It's approximately 30 miles long and there are no locks, but it does have one challenge and that is the turn into the Ashby Canal. It's exceptionally tight and even the most hardened of boaters can't do this in one. In fact, I've not even heard of anybody doing it in one go. Uh, I'm told that it's a lot more difficult to do it from the Nuneaton side, which is the way I'm coming, than it is to do from the Coventry side and it's still impossible to do it from the Coventry side. So, well, we'll have a go at it and I'll try and film it, but people are telling me they don't even attempt to do it in one. Um, it's just not worth the effort. But we'll see how it goes, eh? Bridge one, uh, I made the turn a little bit late. Uh, I had to put a little bit of reverse on just to give the front a bit of time to come round and uh, managed to sort of all in one motion put the reverse on, bring the front end in and get in. So not strictly did it in one, but yeah, that was quite tricky. It, it, it's not that it's such a tight turn, it's that it's really blind and it sort of fools you into thinking that the turn is a much later turn than it is. So uh, maybe one day I'll get that, but uh, Quite pleased with the way that went. Well, that wasn't actually bridge one. Bridge one came just after that. That one wasn't marked up. But we're on to the Ashby Canal, and I have to say, it's uh, it's quite nice. You know, it gets narrow in places, and it's a bit twisty in places, but it's quite nice. It's quite a nice stretch of canal. It's uh, picturesque and quiet. And I quite like it. Uh, so let's just have some scenery pictures of going along in the canal. Cue the music.
nice afternoons cruising along the Ashby Canal. It's quite picturesque and like avenues of trees most of the way along. It's been really good. So I've moored up just outside Hinkley. I've got another boat there and another one there. He's just running his engine, uh, which is a quite a secure spot and a nice respectable gap between us. The towpath doesn't look too uh, badly trodden or too muddy. So uh, we should be okay security wise and um, we should stay nice and clean. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start cooking my dinner, uh, watch a bit of television, go to bed, and we'll get ready to start off again tomorrow. You don't really expect to see a boat coming through in the dark with the mist coming off the canal. That's what's happening. I imagine he's got somewhere to get to pretty urgently. Hi, all right. How you doing? It's getting difficult to see now, isn't it? It's getting difficult to see. Ah, oh, that's part of night boating. <laughs> okay. And there's a distinct smell of shh.